Hey everyone, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a seamless user experience by combining registration and login functionalities into one single form using JetForm Builder render state features. This approach simplified user interaction by eliminating the need of separate forms. Now, for this tutorial, you will need, of course, JetForm Builder, and you need this add-on, user login action. Okay, so let me show you what you can achieve here. So this is an example. So I have this login form. So username, password, and you can log into that. But now I have say, you know, if you don't have an account, let's create a registration form. Okay, so if you click that, now it pops up to uh, the registration. Okay, now you see the sign up button. And also, if you already have an account, just log in, just click that. All right, so it looks like you have two forms, but actually this is only one single form. All right, so let's get started. First of all, you need a JetForm Builder and activate it. And the second, JetForm Builder user login action add-on. Okay, so those two should be uh, activated. So first, uh, let's go to JetForm Builder and add a new form, or you can click add a new form here. And let's give it a title. Okay, so login user, sorry, login and registration form. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, start from scratch. Okay, and then, uh, so I'm gonna just delete these. I don't need that. Okay, so I can delete this. Maybe even delete that. Okay. Now, so let's go to, I'm looking for conditional block. Okay, so I'm gonna add this, okay. And I'm gonna add another one. So two of those. Now I like to use this view, so I can have, clearly I can see two uh, blocks here. So we created two conditional forms. So the first conditional block will display the login form. And the second conditional block will display the registration form using the change render state button. So let's select the first block. So this is going to be for login form. And we need the text field for the username and then uh, email. And another one is for one for password. Okay. So let's put the label here. Okay. So the label, uh, let's call it to uh, login. And the second one is, uh, let's use a password, all right? For the password fields, just make sure go to uh, field. It says text. Now change to password, all right? Now next field I like to put is the uh, plus button here. And I need a checkbox, checkbox field here, okay? And I'm going to leave uh, the field blank and then put the field form field name as a remember me by login okay and then go to yeah this is going to be manual input and then manage item so add a new option uh, label i'm going to put the remember me and value i'm going to hit one and then hit update i'm going to just uh, save it uh, publish and save it and finally uh, let's uh, Add action button here. So let's call it to uh, login. So here's the login form we completed. All right. So now uh, the first conditional block. So we just create a layout of login form. Now that the change render state button will be added later. So let's uh, move move on and to the next condition block, and then we're going to create a registration form. All right, so let's select uh, the second conditional block, and we're going to build a registration form. Now, instead of uh, creating from scratch, so there is, a, if you go to a pattern, and then jet form, there is pre-made registration form. Yeah, here's a register form here. So I'm going to just bring that right here. All right, so make sure. Uh, looks like it went to, uh, let's go to bring here okay and then uh, i'm gonna just uh, delete unnecessary fields so this column i don't need that delete this column i don't need a picture okay oops uh, delete okay 
So the name and email, password, confirm password. All right, so I'm going to just remove uh, name section and keep it just simple for this demo. Uh, re let's remove uh, country as well. Yeah, just simple email, password, confirm password. All right, so just one thing here. So just select the um, password section. Uh, you see, because say you cannot have same field name because we use the password for the up in the login form here. So we're going to give it, give a different note, name, uh, password for, uh, region. okay. Let me just uh, save it. Now the next one is, um, uh, so you see the login form and we create a remember me checkbox field. So I'm going to just duplicate this. Um, all right, so and I'm going to move this down to uh, bottom of the right here under registration form. Okay, and once again, so this should be, uh, I'm going to just uh, change, uh, remember me by register, just to give a different name. Now, so we created the login form and the registration form. Okay, so to in uh, two different conditional block. Now, so we have those two in the one form, actually, that's cool. And so next one is, a, so we need to set up for render state for login form, okay? So let's select um, the first conditional block and then click the button in the toolbar to assign the new condition, okay? So which is right here, okay? Now let's select show if, and then let's add a condition. And now the operator, uh, we need to find uh, uh, on the bottom one. So is render state, okay? And other render state, and then you see this default state, okay? So that the default state is a form default render state. So when a page with a jet form builder form is open in a browser, the form is rendered in its default state, okay? And I hit the update and let's, let's save it. Now let's move on to next conditional block, which is a residential form. And we're going to do this again. Hit the conditional logic and show if, and then add a new condition. And operator is going to be is render state. Okay. Now let's add a new. Yeah. So let's add. Uh, we can name whatever we want to um, register. Okay. And hit that. So once the new state is added, it is assigned automatically to the conditional block. So lastly, uh, just to save update. So next one is uh, let's add a change render states button. So this will enable us to switch a uh, login and the registration form back and forth. All right, so I'm gonna just add, uh, well, I can just duplicate a new button here and the bottom button, select that. And you see that, make sure it's a set block here. And the actual button on the right hand side, it says transform change render state. So click this one. And I'm gonna change the label saying I don't have account. And here, and the switch state. So when you click that, that change the state to registration form. So I'm gonna change this uh, register, pick register here. All right. So, and then uh, let's move on to our next conditional block, which is um, uh, the registration. And then select action button. And I'm gonna just the uh, same thing. I'm gonna just duplicate it. All right, so I've got the two action button. Then the bottom one, same thing. I'm gonna select transform change render. And I'm gonna change this um, label to uh, Okay, and this one is going to be back to default state, which is login form. All right. All right. So next one is let's uh, work on the post submit action. So one for login and one for registration. All right. So let's just uh, move back to uh, login form here. And then uh, let's select this login action button and go to jet form. Now you can uh, add a post submit action. So let's select the new action here. And there is a login. Here we go. So that's login. So let's just click that. And the user login field is going to be login. And the password is going to be password. 
and remember me field is remember me by login okay and then hit update and next one is uh, select um, action button so this is sign up okay so i'm going to use another new action so this is going to be register user so the first one is a user login i use uh, email i have only email field uh, for the registration so i use uh, email for login and the email is email and the password is uh, password so it's right here yeah we got two passwords it's kind of confusing and the top one is password for login but uh, we're gonna uh, select the bottom one which is for registration okay so i should put a label differently and then confirm password is confirm password okay okay and i don't have a first and last name and here you can just change role here so i'm going to just use a reader different user role and then scroll past the user meta section and activate the user sorry the login user after register and here remember me field we have remember me by register not the login okay so by register okay and then uh, checkbox field from the registration form so this setting allow user to log in automatically after the registration is completed and they hit the update for that all right so next one is uh, we're going to add uh, another actions so we're going to do a redirect the page action now after user login or register it might be convenient to redirect them to different pages for this demo so we're going to add two redirect page actions so one for uh, user login and the, the other one is for uh, register user action Okay, so let's go to uh, select the uh, new action and then redirect right here. Select that. And we have account page, so uh, static page. And let's find the. Uh, okay, so select the account page and then just hit update. And then I'm going to put uh, another one and another. Yeah, so another one static and then count page and hit update and then y is for after user login it's going to just move it up okay so the other one is for after user register okay all right so i'm going to add one more action which is sending email email after user registers just to let them know that uh, the, the registration uh, was success or send them kind of welcome email there is a email oh here we go so the first one let's click that so email to uh, email from submitted form field and field is of course email and then reply to I can we can just put in blank and then uh, so subject you can just customize that so I'm going to just use uh, this macro so this just gives uh, the site name and then uh, you know uh, welcome or so something like this and from name uh, we can put the uh, admin name you can choose and email address um so you can choose uh admin at what about admin name uh, you can put that all right so and so you can put the content here uh, you can customize it all right so you can put uh, whatever message you want to uh you can if there is a registration there's a first name last name you can put the hi first name and then uh, you know login your account you can put the login url here okay and then if you have any support email you can put the support email here all right and hit update now the next one is uh, let's set up events for those actions so that this is the last step in the form of configuration process is the assign post submit actions with events so events defines when a specific action is executed so let's click the um, edit condition events button under the first action which is user login right here so you see that uh, edit condition events and then click event match and add events is uh here we go uh on default states okay and hit update 
an update all right so the also this one redirect is also after user login so which is i'm going to click the condition edit condition on events so go to event match and it's going to be the same on default state and update and update now okay so that's fine and the register user is i'm going to do the same thing edit condition events go to event match now add events now this one is uh, on register okay so on register and update update same thing uh, redirect the second redirect one is event match and on register which is right here and update update and the last one so this sending email is only for registration oops register on register right here okay update update i'm going to hit save all right so here's the last page so let's add the registration form or registration and login form to a page so let's go to page and add a new it looks like i already did that so let's just go um i use elementor and then uh select there's a jet form builder form here also this is a jet form i'm gonna just drag and drop here and let's choose the form which is logging and the registration form so this one is right here okay kind of shows everything but uh, trust me um it should show now let's save it and let's see the result all right so let's uh, test it out so i got the button here don't have account already have account good it's kind of flipping back and forth now so let's log in I think I have account here right so let's try that yeah so I got the uh, login hi John see that uh, so this works so let's try to let's uh, log out here all right so let's try the user re registration here so I don't have a account so uh, so let's use uh, Patrick and the password. And then, all right, so let's hit the sign up here. All right, so it looks like um, creating an account. So let's check it out. So uh, this is the uh, admin section. And then, uh, so that's all users. And let's refresh this page. See if it's a Patrick is here. Yeah, so it's Patrick. He is registered. And then the role is a reader. Okay. And then check out the um, email. So I received this email. Oh, uh, send it to Patrick and then uh, reply to from Atomy. All right. So this is a just template that I, I used so it is working all right that's it for today thanks so much for watching if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the crockblog channel for more tutorials like this one see you in the next video